Hi, this is Quantum Nomad. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, we'll show you how you can add backtesting range to your trading strategies just in a few lines of code. Around here, I already published a video about that, but since then, Trinio announced new inputs for date and time, and so it became much, much easier to do that. And in this video, we'll show you how you can do that. If you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to create more content for you. So here I have a very simple uh, strategy with a backtesting range already applied to it. And um, it works, but as you can see, it looks very bulky. And it looks very bulky, like both in the code, because you have quite a lot of code for that, and also in inputs as well, because you have to create uh, six inputs in total for from date and to date, and every of this date should have three inputs for day, month, and year. And um, I can now show you how you can do this with uh, time inputs and uh, save quite a lot of uh, time. So idea is very simple. So now you can get your um, date and time directly from your input without uh, doing all these things with a separate date, months and year. So how it works. So first of all, let's um, add an input here. And after that, as a default value in, um, in this input, I will use a timestamp uh, function with uh, with my default um, and start date. So I will use um, this um, string representation of daytime. So it will be t here and um, let's do zeros here. And here just let's add a type of our input to be um, input dot time. So that's uh, it basically. Let's do the same for uh, the finish date. And um, here I will just change a uh, year to 21. And that's basically it. Now let's delete all these inputs. We don't need them anymore. And let's uh, add it again to the chart to see if it works. So as you can see, it works the same way. We have uh, the same performance. And uh, as you can see, it took us only three basically lines of code to uh, create this time condition. And not only the code looks better, but also if you go to the inputs, you will see that now to enter your start date and finish date, you have a nice widget for uh, for the date. You can select date using this widget calendar, and also you can uh, choose uh, exact time if you want using this uh, drop down window. Uh, you can select time with 15 minute increment. So I think it's quite uh, useful. So let me remind you in the end uh, how you can basically um, add um, a, a book testing range to your uh, strategy in general. So all thing you need to do is just to add these three lines um, after the last uh, input. It's probably a good place to add it in your code. After that, you can use this time condition in all your entries, in all your entry. If, if, if your entry has like the when parameter, you need to add this and and your time condition for that. If you have, for example, you know, limit order or or, or stop order, you can use um, like if statement with uh, this uh, time condition and you can just do this sort of kind of this way. And also if you want after your condition is not uh, true anymore, so if your, your testing period is over, you can use a following code just uh, to close and cancel all your orders and positions so I think that's all for the video. Thank you for watching. See you.